Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode. I have to apologize, I did not do a video last week. Uh, it's been crazy, crazy, crazy busy. Uh, just at work, my personal life, working uh, on the house and stuff, it's just been absolutely bananas, so I do apologize. But we're back, and uh, this week we're gonna talk about pretty much what seems to be one of my favorite topics. You guys really seem to be enjoying these videos, and that's talking about the Garmin Echo Map series, uh, fish finders of, of chart plotters. And uh, once again, I've got a Echo Map Plus here, uh, which is very similar to the Ultra, the UHD, the Ultra High Definition. And here in this hand, I've got the Chirp Edition, which is pretty much the same as the first gen. Um, and today we're gonna talk about maps. So one of the hot topics that a lot of you guys asked me to talk about were how do you upgrade your maps? How do you upgrade maps? How do you install maps? How do you add additional map packs? Things like that to these Garmin units. So that's what we're gonna talk about today because it's kind of simple but kind of complicated. So let's discuss what the heck is the deal with maps and these Garmin Echo maps. The first thing you gotta consider with these is there's a very strange and complicated history between mapping companies and chart plotter companies. So when chart plotters first started coming out with uh, you know GPS units and maps and things like that, there was companies that made the maps and then they would establish relationships with the companies that made these graphs. So in Garmin's case, they've had relationships with guys like uh, Lake Master and stuff like that. So that's why if you've ever picked up an old Garmin unit, not an Echo Map series, but something older than that, you'll actually see they've got uh, Lake Master lakes in there and, and maps and stuff. Uh, you'll get the little Lake Master logo, but that relationship fell apart several years ago uh, and they stopped using them completely. Who knows what's really happened there? And Lake Master maps are in fact not compatible in these units. You, you can only use uh, Garmin's Lakeview maps or you can use, uh, I believe they're called blue charts. Um, those are the two that are currently compatible with these units. Now, the map updates tend to come every year. So every year you've got blue charts issuing out maps and you've got Lakeview. Now, whenever you buy a Garmin unit, it typically will come with the Lakeview maps and you'll generally have Lakeview for the US, you'll have for the coast, you'll have for Canada or different countries depending on where you buy these. Um, you could also buy these specific packs uh, for these units and of course when you buy them you are entitled to a certain amount of upgrades. So here's where things get also a little weird and kind of tough to understand. So the Garmin maps are basically, when you, when you pick up one of these new Echo maps, you're entitled to one update, one free map update, not to be confused with a software update. Software updates are free all the time. But map updates, you get one free one within a year of purchase. But what's a little bit convoluted is how do, you, how do they prove that one year of purchase? Because we're gonna show you how to register one of these units. Um, so I believe what it is, it's probably more likely that it's one year after after you register your unit, but I guess people were getting abusive with it, and what they would do is they would buy a unit, wait a few years before they upgrade it, uh, then they would register it and then get the new map. So you kind of bypass the one year after purchase. So it's a little strange. So to be honest with you, I have not upgraded my maps in a couple of years on one of my older units, and this particular unit, which I bought in, it would have been November, Black Friday, 2019, when these kind of first came out, I've never upgraded the maps. So I've had this unit for over a year and a half, so we're past the one year mark, and I have no idea if it'll let me upgrade it or if it will just let me um, download the maps that are currently installed on here. So this video is gonna kind of be a little bit of an adventure as well and a little bit of discovery for me because I'm not sure how it works anymore. But for those of you that buy new units, just remember you have one year from when you purchase to go ahead and upgrade your map. So what you can do is you buy it in the spring, well the following spring, log in, and and download your brand new maps. Now, other small little things that are interesting. Some Garmin products allow you to upgrade the built-in maps, but when I went and upgraded this unit here, I found out something. These Echo Maps, the Chirps, and the previous generation, and maybe even the newer generation now, they do not have enough memory in them to allow you to copy over the, uh, the downloaded maps that you get. You can't copy them into these units, so you cannot upgrade the built in maps. The built-in maps, whatever version you got, that's the version that stays in here. So whether or not you purchase new maps or you upgrade the current maps, you can't
can't just upload them in here. You need to put them on an SD card and keep the SD card in the unit at all times in order to get the map. So the way it works is you get an SD card. Now you have two options. You can either buy the map that you want or get the upgrade on a card that they physically send you, or you can download it via a custom made application that Garmin makes called Garmin Express, and it'll create the card for you, and then you can insert that card inside the unit. And it's important to remember that the card that you buy or that you purchase is actually associated to this unit. So you can't just take it and put it into any other unit. So there's sort of two protections on this. If you download the software, okay, so if you download the maps and put it on a card, the card and the maps are associated to the unit you've registered. So you can't take that card and go put it into another unit and it works, okay? That, it doesn't work that way. When you purchase the card, when you purchase the software, it's sort of the same protection, um, but it's actually locked. So here's the difference is that you can download the software and you can put it onto any SD card, but it's locked to your unit. But when you purchase the maps, they're not locked to a unit, but it's locked to the SD card. So there's like a special protection that is extremely difficult to bypass. I'm not even sure if you can. It's illegal, obviously. Um, but basically, that card is the only card that contain, this, contain the software. So you cannot copy that map onto your computer, plug in another SD card, and then copy it over, and it'll work. It does not work that way. So it only works on that particular card. So these mapping cards in this map mapping software is super protected, so it's very hard to bypass it. Now, there is a special equipment that lets you um, sort of exactly duplicate certain aspects of an SD card so you can buy those chips and that's why you can find them on eBay for you know next to nothing or wherever you can buy them now I'm, I'm not even sure but be very careful because that's probably somewhere first of all those are illegal you're not allowed buying those but they do sell them but a lot of them will have old software they weren't function properly it simply won't work on your unit so if you've been looking at those and you're seeing map packs that are you know a quarter of the price of what Garmin sells them uh, for be very suspicious they're probably pirated copies and don't work and personally I would, ne I, would you know, I would never touch that uh, I would either get the free upgrades or if, the, if I'm going somewhere and I really need maps for that area I'll just go ahead and buy it it's not that big of a deal okay so bear that in mind so when you download it only works on your unit if you buy the card it only works on that card so don't lose that card or you're, you're in trouble um, so yeah so listen let's let's go through it so we're gonna do a couple of things today we're gonna show you how to go ahead and see what maps are available to you what you can download how to use this the Express software and then how to create the cards and how to put them in. Now, if you've never dealt with the SD cards, I'm going to put a link in the description below and it's how to format and what kind of cards you need, what kind of SD card you need and uh, how to format them and all that sort of thing. It's in my upgrade video. So we won't go over all that again, but if you need to go to those steps, go check that out first so that you've got the equipment you need, the SD card you need and how to format it so that we can use it for this particular video. So if you've got your SD card, your SD card reader and you're good to go, then let's proceed we will jump on the computer and I'm going to show you the software that you need. I'm going to show you what you need to do to get the, um, to be able to register this via the software. It's actually really not that complicated and we'll go from there, okay? So let's get on the computer and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to download a program called Garmin Express and I will put a link in the description below um, to this address here on the Garmin website and uh, this is basically going to be a program that we use for registering our unit. Now, it's very important if you do not have a uh, Garmin account, you need to open a Garmin account first. So you can click here, go to account, and from here you can actually create a new account. You can see the link is right here. So very important that you have an account. So before you do anything else, create your Garmin account. So let's assume you've already got one, okay? So let's go back. And we're gonna go ahead, you've got a version for Mac or for Windows, so I'm gonna download, download it for Windows. Okay, we're done, so let's go ahead and launch it. Uh, click on Run and you'll probably get a Windows warning. If not, just go ahead, I read and agree, go ahead and install, there's my Windows warning, click Yes. All right, we've got successfully installed, so we'll go ahead and launch the Garmin Express software. Okay, so now the first thing we need to do is log in. And the way you do this is you click on add a device and it'll ask you if you've got a marine device or chart or charts, just click sign in. And then go ahead and enter your information for the login here. And once that's done, click on sign in. All right, 
right, let's click on sign in. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is set up your vessel. So you can click on next. Um, I'm gonna put that I am located in Canada. Oop, no, not Cyprus. There we go. And vessel name, we'll call it the blue tin rig. And click on next. And then it's gonna check for updates. All right, so it's just checked for updates and you can actually uh, view, it says there are chart updates available. So you click on view details and here you can see these are the latest version of the map. So my current version is this 2016-10 version um, and here you can see the latest version is 2020-50. And here's your costs uh, and I can enter a discount code. But So this, this is basically the latest versions that I can have on my older units, but you can see that I do not have um, my old unit is not on here so if you click back and we click on charts you can see here that I can download the ones that I can have so these are the latest versions that were within the one year that I registered my products so that's why this is the version I can have so from here I can download it and I can go ahead and put that on a card uh, but for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our brand new unit, which is the 93 SV, or sorry, I've got a 95 SV uh, plus, so we're gonna go ahead and add that. So we're gonna go back, and we're gonna click on add. So this is the part where we need to make sure we have an SD card that's ready to be plugged in. So let me show you, let's get the unit, and I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Okay guys, so as usual, I'm gonna have my little office set up, all right? So I've got the cradle here, and I've got the unit in the cradle, and I've got my little portable battery that I like to use for my testing, and again, in my update video, you can check out what I do here, but it's just a 12 volt battery that's clipped onto a power cable into the cradle. So, the next step, once we've got our software installed, is we're gonna go ahead and start the process to register this unit. And the way you do that is you're gonna take your little SD card, okay, that you've got pre-formatted, ready to go. This can be the SD card that you've used for transferring waypoints, or copying maps or whatever you've ever done in the past. Just take, or it can be a completely blank one that you formatted, like we've discussed, and you just take this and you're gonna go ahead and put it in the unit inside the slot, okay? So I'm gonna open the slot up here and just put it inside. Okay, so we've now got it inside the little slot that's here, we've plugged it in. And then all you do is turn it on. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the Garmin unit on. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let it sit there uh, for a couple of minutes, not even just for a few seconds, once it's fully loaded, okay? So we're just gonna let it kick on. Give it a couple minutes. All right, so now it's booted up. We're just gonna go ahead and hit agree. And now that it's on, by the time it's turned on and you're seeing the home screen, and it doesn't matter which generation of Echo Map you use, whether it's a uh, you know first gen, a Chirp, or one of these newer ones, it doesn't matter. It will create a file. It actually creates a, embeds a file on the SD card as soon as it starts up. It's like a Garmin identification file that it puts on here. That's all you need. So then, once this is done, we're just going to go ahead and shut this off. And uh, once we turn it off, there we go. We're good to go. We're going to take out the card. We're we're gonna put it in our card reader and plug it into the computer. Let me show you the file that it created, okay? Let's do it. Okay, we're back and uh, I'm ready to go ahead and put my card in. So I've got my card inside the card reader and I've plugged it into the computer. Give it a minute. And there we go. So now it's discovered my Echo Map Plus 95 SV with Canadian Lakes. Oh, and this is just the file system showing me the files. By the way, if you wanna check this out, this is the file that was created when I first plugged it in. So when you plug in the unit, this is the file that it creates. I have no idea why it's got this modified date, but that's the file that's created. So that's how it knows uh, what kind of information is on my unit. In fact, we can open it right here in Notepad and you can see this is all the encoded information. So you can actually see it says Echo Map Plus, 95 SV, Canada Lakes, et cetera, et cetera. And if we close this and go to the software, you can see it says exactly that. So we can just go ahead and click on Add Device. And it'll check for updates once again. And now we can view details. Uh, and it's still showing the same ones. <laughs> Uh, okay, it looks like it's still the original ones. So next up we've got charts. And looks like the only charts are available are still the old ones. So I don't even see my current card. Let's see, new. Ah, here we go. 
Okay, so this is the latest version that's available here is the 2018.52. Uh, so let's quickly, let's just verify what we've currently got on our unit right now. All right guys, so this is what I was talking about, how we do some discovery together. So I'm gonna turn on the unit, we're gonna check and see which version of the lakes I've got on here right now and see if this is an upgraded version or if that's the current version that's on here right now. Because if it is, that means I do not have an upgrade. And what we'll do is I'll jump on a call with Garmin and ask them, hey, why don't I have upgrades available? Uh, so yeah, let's check this out. This might be a bit of an adventure. Let's find out. But at least you guys are seeing the real deal. This is some of the challenges that we go through. So you get to see really how this works. All right. So give me a second and we'll see what we can do here. All right. So how do we get to see which kind of lake version map we have? We just go to settings and then we're going to go to system. We're going to go to system information and then we're simply going to go to so uh, software information. And you can see right here, the information is here and it says Canada Lake detail map 2018.52 which is the same version that is being offered in Garmin Express so next up let's put in a call to Garmin let's ask them directly what the story is with this and get some answers what do you think guys let's do it So I suspect what that's doing is it's reading my um, my 95 SV, my chirp unit. Go ahead and go back towards this chart updates available and have you clicked on that refresh button at all? Yes sir, I have, yep, absolutely. Oh, what, okay, it, ju I'm it just literally showed up now. That is so funny. Okay, <laughs> I know, um, what, about what time did you, uh, did you add the device on there? Uh, like 10 minutes ago. It's still showing my 2018 version, so I assume that's because I did not click on the upgrade, whatever, the download button yet. Is that why? Yep, yep. So what, or once you go through and you... Uh... Okay, guys, so we just got some questions answered by Garmin. All right, so we've established what my theory was. It's not by the date of purchase. It is actually from the date that you register your device. So I just registered my Plus, and today is um, August 12th, 2020, and on the software it did take a good 20 minutes so there was a delay that's why we didn't see it right away there was a delay so that explains that um, and you can actually see that I have now an upgrade available up until the 20 uh, the 12th of August 2021 which is next year but as he just mentioned the limitation is that I only get one free upgrade so if I wanted to I could wait until next year and get the latest version so as long as I check it before it expires next year I'll get whatever latest version of the map is but for the sake of the sake of this video I'm gonna go ahead and cook off my updates so I've actually had this unit for a little while now and you can see it only started in effect when I registered the date so don't worry about the purchase date it's when you register the unit so let's try this out and I'm also gonna see if it works on my uh, chirp unit but I got a funny feeling it will not so let's go back on the computer and get back to work Okay guys, sorry for all the confusion, but we're back. And now you can see when I go into here, we've refreshed and it's now showing the current version on my plus unit. Um, and it is showing what the, what the latest version is that I can download, which is 2020.50. And you can see here it's free. I just go ahead and download it. Now, the question is, is my chirp unit is no longer here, which is running a 2016 version. So the question becomes, can this work on both units? So we're also gonna find that out. We're just discovering all kinds of new stuff today. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download. So let's just go ahead and go through that. Downloading the chart may take a few hours. You need an SD card to download the chart. If you're ready to start, continue. So let's go ahead and continue. We will accept. Uh, and you can see no more. See, and this is what I keep talking about, guys. You can only get a card up to 32 gig. Don't go any bigger. Um, select the drive. It's in the H drive. Continue. 
and now it's gonna go ahead and download. So we'll let this cook for a while. You can see here it's gonna take a super long time because the download rate is extremely slow, but we'll let this cook in the background and we'll come back when it's ready because it's probably gonna jump all over the place. So let's just let this cook and uh, we'll come back once we've got the full download. You can see it's already starting to increase. So uh, we'll be back. So now what's really interesting here is that it's actually unlocked it for all of my devices. So you can see it'll now work on the 95, the 93, and the chirp unit. So this is kind of cool. So this means that these updated maps should work on every single unit I have and not just the 95 SV that I tried to unlock to. So that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty generous of Garmin to do that, assuming that's not a mistake. So uh, we'll test all that out. So let's click OK and we're done. So now the next step is going to be simply to take the uh, card and go ahead and insert it into the plus unit. So let's get the card out and do that next. Okay guys, here's our card. I'm gonna take it out of the card reader. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the slot here. All right. All right, we've got that in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. All right, let's take a look and see what it's using now. So here you can see the built-in map is, uh, let's see, is it listed? It's not, but here you can see it says Canada Lakes G3 detail map 2020.50 version 22.00. So we are now running the new version of the map. And here you can see the built-in map is the Canada Lakes detail map 2018.52, uh, blah, 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 blah. So you can see here, it's actually using the new maps now. So the question becomes, can we upgrade the maps that are in here to the ones that are on the card? So can I take the ones that are on the card and move them into the unit? So let's see if that works. I can tell you for sure you cannot on a Echo Map and you can't on a, uh, sorry, <clears throat> you can't do it on an Echo Map Chirp or a first generation Echo Map. So let's see, this is like a third generation. Let's see if we can do it. So we're gonna go to Nav Info. We're gonna to go to manage data. Uh, we're gonna to go to data transfer. Give it a minute to load. Copy built-in map, replace from card, update built-in map. Let's see if that works. Update built-in map. Not enough memory for built-in map upgrade. So there you go. So you cannot upgrade it. That's what I thought. So uh, you cannot upgrade it. So if you want to use the upgraded maps that we installed, you need to keep the card inside the unit at all times, okay? And here's your proof that uh, that's the case. I've seen people ask this quite a bit, but this is your actual proof, okay? So now let's try and make a card. Uh, let's try this card out and see if it works inside the other unit, in, inside the uh, chirp unit. Okay guys, here I've got a uh, 95SV chirp unit. So now we're gonna check and see if this one has the, uh, if this one can use the same card or do I need to make a custom card just for this unit? Because remember when we put it in, it creates that identification file we looked at earlier. So let's give it a shot. So this is the card, this is the SD card that just came out of the 95SV Plus. Let's put it in here and see what happens. up it's loading maps all right so here you can see it's loading 2016 so this is the original version of the maps right here uh, not a touch screen big difference there okay let's go take a look so we'll go to settings system system information software information supplemental maps there you go it's working so it is using the supplemental maps right there and the built-in maps are the old version so you can use the exact same card and it will work so what I suspect happens is that the card on it it's unlocked for all three units that I currently own so no matter which unit I put that card in it will work but I will need to make three copies of this card for each one of my units so that they can all run the new map simultaneously so there you go guys so the same card works and what I suspect like I said is that the same card will work only on these three units now what I can guarantee you is if I take this card out and I go ahead and plug it in so if I take this card out of here and I plug this into my neighbor's uh, echo map for example I guarantee you it will not load up those new maps because it's only unlocked to the serial numbers on these ones so that's how that works guys so hope that helps out uh, so you can literally just go and duplicate this 
card uh, to another SD card, and as long as you use it on one of the units you've registered, it will work. So now the question becomes, how do I get other charts? So let's say you don't wanna upgrade. Let's say you're going somewhere and you want specific charts for that area and you wanna load them into your unit. Well, it's pretty much the same process. So you gotta make sure you go to the, go back to your Garmin Express, click on your unit, uh, click, sorry, click on your vessel, click on charts, and these are the ones you already own. You can click here for shop for carts and that will go ahead and launch you to the location that you want to do. So, I don't know, let's look for Iceland. Let's go fishing in Iceland. Continue. Who knows, maybe this is a bad example. Oh boy, all right. <laughs> anyway, so here's Garmin. This is obviously Garmin Iceland. And from here, you'll be able to purchase your maps and you basically do it the same way. So if I'm in Canada, let's go back here. Let's go to the United States. Uh, there we go, let's go to the US and I need to purchase. I can just do it right from here. It takes me, it takes me to the default site, but you can basically go to Marine and it'll, it'll have maps right here like this. And pretty much every site will have the same thing. And then from here, you'll be able to purchase your maps. There you go. Uh, let's see, shop now. Uh, let's say coastal charts. All right, we can just zoom in. So this area here, it'll show me coastal, and here it'll show me which different packages that I can get. And some of these are super detailed, right? That's why these are, these are pretty pricey. So you can click on this, and then you go ahead and download. So you select the one you want, get your price, add to cart, and then you can download it. Now some of these uh, you can download, and once they're, uh, basically when you download it, it, you purchase it through your actual profile, so you can see I've got a registered profile here, and once you've purchased it, you go back to the Garmin Express software, and it will become available for download, or you can actually just purchase the SD card and have it sent to you, um, but you know that's probably not the greatest way in the world, and when you receive it, like I said, via SD card, it'll be locked to that card. You'll be to use it on whichever units you want, but you will have to have that card. It's always better to download it and then you can you know, use it on your different units and you can make multiple copies of the card. Um, as a backup and it works that way. So that's pretty much it. That's how you purchase these. And like I said, once you purchase them, they're associated to your account. You simply go back to your Garmin Express and they'll show up here. You can just refresh and, and it'll show up in the list as being available. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how that works. All right guys, that's it for today. I hope that was super helpful. So I hope you learned how to download your maps, how to get them onto your units, where to get them, how to use the software. I really hope this was super uh, successful in teaching you how to do it. It's really not that complicated. It's just understanding the history of Garmin maps and what can be used and what can't. It's it's sort of complicated, but once you're firm on what you need, it's very simple to just go ahead and download them, use the software and get them on there. It's not it's not too bad. It's just when you've been dealing with all these generations, you know, I'm on my fourth generations of Garmin maps. It seems like every few years it kind of changes what you can and can't do uh, and it can be hard to figure out. So anyway, I hope this video was super helpful. Uh, don't forget, you know, you got to hit that like button if this was helpful or if you like the video, if you want me to do more Garmin videos, smash the little like button. And of course you better be subscribed, right? You guys, by now, you surely must be subscribed. Don't betray me by not subscribing. And of course, if you have any questions or comments, you know where to go down below. Leave me, uh, leave me a little note and uh, I'll, I'll probably get back to you. I try to answer uh, everybody that I can. So if there's anything, just let me know, okay? Guys, thank you so much. And again, I do apologize if the updates seem a little slow. It's just been super, super busy. It's been difficult for me to find time to, to shoot some content, but, uh, I really, really thank you guys, of course, as always, for the support and for helping the channel grow. I really, really appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Get out there and uh, go do some fishing and uh, be safe, all right? Peace.